Welcome to the channel everybody, my name is Ryan and this is Stacklands and we are back today with the Cursed Worlds playthrough. This is actually the double cursed land. Here it is, the two curses, the curse of death, the curse of sadness. And most importantly, how's the poop doing? Okay, it's all good over here, it's being drained away. Our villagers, they look like they're not really working. What is that about? Get to work, Mr. P. We are keeping them, uh, they are named currently after my four different Patreon members, and we will have to keep renaming them because they are going to pass away. With the curse of death, our people do grow old, as you can see, and then they pass away, and we do get unhappiness whenever they pass away. So I'm really trying to pump out the happiness now. It's going pretty well. Actually, a few people have commented and mentioned that the happiness does not affect the card count, these happiness cards. So that's why I had a little issue a couple moons ago where I was confused about why I wasn't like over the card or why I hadn't gone o under the card count when I sold a few. But um, still, in sp uh, speaking of selling, these things do sell for a good amount of money. I mean, it's like free money. We're turning one coin into three, essentially, you know, with each happiness card we produce. But we do need to use them right now currently for other, well, for satisfying happiness. But once we get enough, I will start selling them. You better believe it. And we're up to four markets. You can see the economy is going pretty strong. I do have um, a few more ideas to discover. So we should probably open up some of these packs here. I know a couple people, well, one person in particular has commented on the old series about how I com I finished that one off with still having some ideas undiscovered here. So since we're on the same save file, we can actually open these up now. So there we go. I think we've gotten, yeah, we just discovered one. Oh, the Dark Forest card. Yeah, so there's nothing going to be like new or exciting if, in these last four cards. It's probably like the Broken Bottle and the forest amulet or something like that just the last couple things i haven't actually found yet ah but look at this nice we got ourselves a dog everybody that's pretty huge actually um throw that up there yeah so we'll, we'll buy some more of these i don't want to get too ahead of myself here let's see what else we're working on okay that would be good for him and you should probably go there okay we've got a builder lady v is over here working on that excellent now let's see the dog himself can do work oh and he can also have i wonder if, if he'll grow old i just occurred to me it does have an age it shows he's three moons so i bet you that's i bet you he will that's okay no big deal so what can we get him to do <laughs> he's got like nothing going on uh, that's okay we need to probably put together Another warehouse? Sure, why not? We can do that. We are pretty solid. You know what? Forget it. We, we can just buy some more of these. No big deal. Let's open up these cards. Get these ideas. Alright, we got a bear. We'll get our people together. I do need to start. I might build a second iron mine just so we can really start pumping out like the weapons and armor and stuff. But let's take this bear on. I'll probably grab everybody just to be safe. And what did we discover? Spiked plank. So that was the fourth undiscovered card was the spiked plank. Like I said, there's not going to be anything super exciting in there. I think all the new cards from the DLC I've discovered, except maybe some like non-craftable things like certain weapons that bosses will drop possibly. But um, I do promise to defeat all the bosses here in this particular playthrough. My goal for this map, to, even though we are cursed, is to get as far you know as we can. So I want to go to the island, get us some cotton, gold, and sand, obviously for glass. So that we can start, you know, making that stuff back here, just like you had a normal playthrough. And we're going to try and maintain a healthy population of, you know, people who have to breed and they can potentially get sick. It just adds a whole new dimension to the game, which I'm really excited for. So the next step is probably to get our food situation sorted out, like some eggs would be great. And we do need to probably start looking at Curious Cuisine. Wherever we get the chickens from, that's what I'm most interested. I don't see a chicken card there. I have to look here. There we go, reap and sow. So that's the pack we want. 
But like I said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna end it until we uh, discover every card. Uh oh, another wolf. So there we go. We just discovered the fishing rod. Okay, we have two undiscovered cards left. Let's take out this wolf. Unfortunately, I don't have another bone. And even if I did, I probably wouldn't necessarily want to recruit two dogs. But there we go. Let's see how it goes. Speed it up there. Gotta watch him. Don't want anybody to die. We'll take a happiness hit if that happens. All right. So we are out of money officially, but that's okay. We'll get some more here shortly. You can see the markets are flourishing. Lady V, get back to work. Uh, you know what I should be doing to also is working on maybe another farm. Even if we go for uh, all chickens like I normally like to do, I think I'll still keep a couple of farm cards around. Because that'll help us keep the, uh, where is it, the tavern full. You know, if we just have some carrots or berries or something around. It's extra happiness. Makes a big deal. It really does. Okay, so everything's pretty sweet here. There we go. Let's get some more food. I'm going to save this apple and plant that one. There's some cooked food going in the hot pot. All right, yeah, we're just maintaining at this point. Making sure we've always got a baby in the house so that, you know, at the end of next turn, because we've got an old lumberjack here. The dog is really interesting. He's not doing anything, but if I buy a couple of... Oh, we got an extra carrot. Let's put that one right there on the... Yeah. Oh, man, look at this. Serious happiness happening right now. You better believe it. Okay, we've got ourselves some coins again. Iron ore, finally. Uh, I need to start saving some wood just for the smelter. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Another soil. I'll take that. So what is it? Two planks and two bricks, I think, for a... And soil for a farm. If I get this right, I'm going to be real proud of myself. Oh, look at that. Building a farm. I finally memorized a complex recipe that's more than two cards long. <laughs> All right, so we've got ourselves another farm. That'll be good. Two farms is probably enough. Like I say, we are going to go over to a chicken, a pretty chicken-heavy uh, economy, but not right now. Not until we get what we need. All right, Lady V can work on these trees, even though it's not really necessary. Just gives us something to do. And we are looking for that chicken card. There it is, the chicken. Yes, I'm going to start its own animal pen. Ooh, we'll keep this spring, too. At some point, we're definitely going to need water if anybody gets sick. So I'll be keeping that around for sure. All right, man. Things are going pretty good. The poop's about to clear itself off. Yeah, very little. We're halfway to the next moon. So we've got plenty of time. And iron bars are coming out. Ooh, we got a stick here. Uh, let's put that there. So we got the smithy. Boy, I'd love to get my hands on some magic dust right now. Next time a portal comes up, I'm going to try to... Well, I was going to say I'm going to try to go through it, you know, with a group. Because if we go into the portal, we're almost assured to get at least one magic dust. No guarantees, but I think that's pretty likely. I just, I don't know if we can do it with this group. I need more weapons, for sure. Let's get some more. Let's get a couple ninja stars going. Those are always fun and powerful. All right, so we've got, let's see here. Where's the farm? There it is. Let's get the berry there. I do have some more poopies. Let's use that for the apple. Throw those in there. All right, good. Everybody's back to work. Ooh, there's a flint. What do I want with that flint? I feel like there was a weapon. I've got two pickaxes. Um, let's save it and maybe make a second iron mine. I think that's probably what I was hoping to do. All right, so we'll just sell the stick for now. Bricks and sticks and wood. Oh, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful world here in the Stacklands. Look at this. Oh, Lady V. She's got nothing to do anymore. That's okay. Where, why did I put the carrots on the stove? They go on the so uh, hot pot. Okay, we've got two iron bars. One more, and we will start to make the old ninja stars. Now, we got another villager coming up, too, real quick. Boom. Wow, we've got a lot of people now. Food-wise, we're totally fine. We've been keeping up really well. Happiness, not a problem. In fact, let's use some more coins to keep these boys full. Oh, yeah, it's all happening. 
<laughs> it's going great. So I think we've overcome the early on initial hump of like, you know, just getting past the starting game. At this point, the only thing that could really drag us down is like a major disaster. But I don't foresee that happening at this point. Or if it does, we should be able to overcome it. Or, you know, of course, user error. I could screw something up. <laughs> We're going to act like that never happens. And there it is. So it begins. The cycle of chicken birth. Uh, so we, I am going to try and, try and fill up this animal pen right here. And that means I will most likely need some more ovens. There we go. Our first ninja, Lady V the ninja. Let's go. Um, but I'm trying to think of the recipe here. I want to I wanna shock myself twice and remember this recipe for a stove. I believe it's two bricks. Pretty sure it's two bricks. I want to say a flint. Uh, I don't know. A flint and an iron bar with the villager? That's probably totally wrong. Where's my constructor? That makes nothing. All right, I'll just have to look it up. The stove. One brick. Oh, I was super close. Oh, that's okay. Not not too disappointing. Okay, because we can sell the extra brick. And we're back to 23 cards. Let's grab one of these real quick. I'm going to wait for the builder to finish his job. Because I don't... I, something will pop out of this. They always do. These, like, last couple packs. I don't know about order and structure, but there's usually enemies out of these two. Armory and Explorers. You do see that. That's okay. All right, let's put that in there. Stove. So, yeah, I'm going to need to start cranking out the stoves. It sucks because I don't, I don't have my second iron mine up right now, but we seem to be doing relatively okay with the iron. Let's go with the food. Here we go. Very important. Wonderful. Happy birthday. Oh, it's not really that happy. Oh, some animals passed away. That's going to be a lot of sadness. Oh, we got a rabbit hat. It's like the worst hat. Hold on. Let's get rid of that. We've got ourselves a rabbit hat. It gives negative health, but what I'm going to do is... I'll just throw it on Lady V. Lady V, you're wearing rabbit ears now. All right, so she should... Do nothing. Let's get rid of the sadness here. The counter. I wonder if we can stack it like this and just boom, get rid of all of it. Okay, so that wasn't as bad as I thought, but we're down to an old cow, an old rabbit. Yeah, I definitely need that magic dust. Really, the first thing I'm going to build is an animal breeding pen, which I believe it takes like one or two magic dust and plus one of these. So that's, yeah, those are going to be pretty important. I mean, don't get me wrong, we can spend money to buy them out of packs, but it's kind of random. I don't know what I'm going to get and... I'd rather be able to breed up cows and not end up with a bunch of rabbits, quite honestly. Because rabbits don't give us anything but poop. The cows are useful, and the chickens are amazing. So let's keep uh, let's keep going with these packs. Oh, it's a Mimic. The Mimic could potentially drop a gold bar. There we go. We've got a crossbow. And we have one undiscovered card left. Can we get it? Right here. Let's try for two. Uh, you know what? I should probably kill the Mimic first. Come here, dog. Whoops. We're going to pull out all the stops on this one. Let's go. So none of our villagers died, by the way. Obviously, it looks like the old lumberjack has another year in him. Um, thinking about another baby, though, still. Probably should. If my goal is to get through the... Oh, nice. We'll keep that. Yeah, if my goal is to go through the, the, uh, the portal, yeah, we definitely should. All right, let's make sure we put people here who aren't working. There we go. And we got Young Militia. All right. That can go there. I'll probably have to pull them off. I just put them all back. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to pull them all right back off because the stupid goblin. There it is. Iron Shield. So that was the last item or undiscovered card. Now we have the knowledge of every card in the game. Of course, except, like I said, certain items that you can't craft, you can just drop. You know, that will just drop off bosses or whatever. But, um, yeah, I should probably pull it. I am so stupid. All right. Oh, look at that money flowing in. Flowing like water. There. We oh, the magic dust. So wait, is it, is it just one? Ah, it's two. 
I'm going to be so tempted to spin this at some point and make something with it. I'll probably do it. But um, like I said, the next time the portal pops up, my, my big goal is to get on that. So we've got the baby. We've got five, seven people total right now. Plus we'll have a baby on board. You have to leave one behind, but the maximum is seven. So that's good. We're right there on that line. I just... I feel like probably with the first wave, we we could probably beat it with under seven, but why why risk it, you know? I can just wait. It does appear pretty regularly. I don't want to say regularly, but what am I doing with these people? <laughs> All right, now we're good. The young militia will stand out front and guard the Staglands village. Well, I would say that our charity buildings are doing pretty good, and we've still got 25 coins left over there, so I've decided to go ahead and crank out a fourth charity building. No reason not to. We got the money coming in like crazy from our beautiful markets. And look at this. We're just keeping them nice and full. There we go. It really, you know what the key is? Having proper tools for these people. So if you're struggling to get your economy up and rolling, build a pickaxe build two pickaxes build a lumberjack you know make an axe that it will really significantly increase the output and it makes all the difference so i think i am gonna try I, can we make the euphoria wait how many is it 12 i don't really know if this has a purpose wait doesn't it take three people creating euphoria now, I know in the uh, land of sadness where we had to defeat it, the curse of sadness was like defeated by making, I think it was three euphorias and then combining them. Well, I'm not going to do that, but I'm just interested to see what this euphoria, number one, what it sells for. Number two, can it be used as happiness itself? Will it be spread around like at the end of a thing, just like it would like with a hot pot, it's for instance? I don't know. So we're going to find out, but um I should be okay. We're halfway through to the next moon. And I need a total of eight. I've got seven right here. So even if it's a total waste, we'll still be okay on happiness. Speaking of uh, wasting, <laughs> let's spend some money on some packs here. Now, what do we want? You know what I do want to get is some uh, herbs. I'd like to go ahead and use this water over here to brew up some tea. Just have it ready to go. So I think it was Seeking Wisdom. Yeah, herbs. There it is. Also, having some extra would, to like grow, throw on the farm would be really cool. So let's see what these two packs give me. There's a lot of stuff in these packs, though, so I'm not really counting on it. Well, I might have to buy a few of them. Yeah, we got, might get lucky, though. Okay, throw that there. Keeping the berries for sure. Let's buy a few more of them. Like I said, this is... Uh, there's a long list of cards in the second pack. No. Mm. Might want to keep those. Mine as well. Grab those. Oh, there it is. The herbs. Almost didn't even notice it. So there's one. That's exactly what I need. I'll put that in the farm. That guy can go there. I'll put both those apples in the tavern. And there we go. Everything's coming together here. So the carrots can go all right now oh look at that we got two chickens folks we got two chickens as soon as we get more eggs too they're going in i've right, got more iron bar look at that three iron bars let's split that and make um a piece of armor chain mail right now oh i got another flint too okay so what's he doing wait what did he make i was trying to get him to make another charity what happened to that oh he was staring at the coin oh <gasps> Admiring coins. What? I'm doing something wrong. What am I missing? I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was one. A brick. Ah, I'm so stupid. I always do that. Mix up the ingredients. All right. So it's a brick, a coin, and a villager. Now he's making a charity. Okay. Yeah, well, wasted a little bit of time with him, but it wasn't the end of the world. Oh, look at that. A foily tree. Uh, that's interesting. Um, no, I'm just gonna sell it. Not much use for the foily cards in my experience. Okay, there we go. Like I said, we'll save the water. I'm going to start uh, go, uh, farming up some herbs and stuff. So that will be helpful. And then once we get enough, we'll make some tea. And there is the Euphoria card. What is this picture? Um, 
There it is. Looks good. Also, Lady V now has a full set. She's got the rabbit hat, the throwing stars, and the chain mail. There you go. So, like I said, curious. It has no value. Did you notice that? No value on it. I'm starting to think this is probably explicitly for curing the curse of sadness. So, I probably wasted wasted it but like i said we'll try it we'll see maybe it will get passed around and cure some happiness i don't know um there we go though i've got another market being built another iron mine the dog and the militia aren't doing any work so we'll put him up there and we've got ourselves another young villager over here just got born so things are going phenomenal I just kind of watch that food at this point happiness is also yeah it does not count euphoria as happiness see that it's eight of eight now impressive well not impressive i should say lackluster <laughs> but there it is um there is a new card you can make to destroy things what is it trash can or something is it no garbage garden i can't remember i'm pretty sure there's a card you can use now to just get rid of unwanted cards but at some point i'll probably do that with euphoria just to uh, get it out of my face but we'll put it there for now I don't know if anybody does know any uses for the euphoria card let me know down in the comments because that would be uh, very helpful okay here we go just did the food happiness time and birthday time oh the lumberjack has passed away some animals died too oh oh so that's a lot of uh sadness and we have to sell four cards oh my gosh you're kidding me well you can get rid of the euphoria yeah, it won't let me sell it, though. Okay, so I am working on a second sewer, as you can see right here. Eh, we'll just sell the wood here we've got. No big deal. One of the stone. There we are. Very good. So start the moon. Okay, clear. Let's get rid of that and pause it for a second. Let's get all our unhappiness collected. Look at that. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of it. I wonder if the Euphoria can cure this. Or one of them? No. Nope. <laughs> Useless. Useless. All right, we'll just stack it with all our happiness. Wowzers. There's going to be a... Might be a pretty close. I might have to make some more charity. Now nah, we'll be fine. We're pumping out literally five each turn or each tick. I shouldn't say each turn. Each tick or each rollover, you know, we're going to have five happiness, so we'll probably have ten at least by the end of the turn, maybe more. But um, if I need, I'll build another charity. But first things first, let's promote our boy here. Okay, good. Put you there, there. Do we have another corpse? We do. That's great. We can sell that at some point. I might actually, you know what, we might want to search the graveyard for a little bit. Let's see what cards are in it once it gets produced. If there's like a chest or something, I might I might grab the chest or try for it. Because we got a key now. Look at the poopies. Alright, poopies. Pretty good. Pretty good system with the sewers. Don't have to worry as much once you build those. Because, oh, there's our iron mine. Heck yeah. So for the second one, it's not going to be that important. Actually, you know what I probably should do? Let's put that guy there. Or should I just make another pickaxe? I think maybe I'll do that. Why not? Iron bar sticking a flint. Well, the reason why is because I don't have flint. But we will at some point. Now, I'm just worried about running out of bricks here. If I put like just a non-miner on one of these. But we'll be fine. I'm sure of it. Okay, money's coming along nice. So we've got two undiscovered cards here in the graveyard. I think one of them is the ruins. I'm not sure what the other one is. Oh, right. Well, let's just explore it. Use the doggo to explore. Okay, food is doing fantastic. No need to worry. There's my first herbal tea. Got that over here. Um, I think it's time to get the builder. Build a boy. Start making me some more warehouses, sir. If I hit my card count, then it's time to blow past it with some warehouse construction. That's what I always say. Yeah, look at that happiness. We're already getting it. Looking fantastic. Let's get some food over here on this tavern, though. Yeah, keep that sucker full. Oh, there it is. The eggs. Took them forever, didn't it? This is why you need, like, three or four animal pens just full of chickens if you really want to go, like, the full, like, omelet route. 
Or as someone pointed out in the comments, it would be just about as easy to build, uh, to make frittatas, which actually give you people work speed bonus. Cause that's one egg and one potato, I think. And as long as you just have a, a potatoes growing in your farms, I think that's probably what we'll go for. So I appreciate that comment for sure. All right, let's keep going here. Moving the planks. See, even if we didn't have enough bricks because of Lady V here not being specialized, I think the planks would still keep up with it. So that's fantastic. All right, there's some more iron. Yeah, I'm still trying to get people, everybody, a set of chain mail at the very least. You can see most people don't have it. The dogs go. I need about three or four more. And you know what? I think it's probably time for another kiddo. Let's go. All right, we got another warehouse. I'm going to pull Mr. P and Lady V over there. Let's put the warehouse away. As soon as he, they're done, though, he's going to build another warehouse. Put that there. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, I don't want to just be, like, a little bit over the card count. I like to be, like, obscenely over the card count. You know, if it says 100, I want to have, like, 200 <laughs> capability. Uh, maybe not that much, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll have a lot. Spread the poops out. Spread the love. Oh, look at these coinage. <gasps> That's amazing. Hold on. Chest. I'm going to build a second coin chest. What is it? Two wood? That'll build itself, too, I think. Yeah, it's just... At this kind of level of economy, it's good to have a couple of them going. And at some point, I might even have to build the wishing well just to throw money away. But that's really, it's not necessary now. If I have too much coins, I just fill up my charity things, you know. Keep those suckers rolling. I want another one now. I want to get so far ahead on happiness like it's never a concern again, you know. Look at this. We still got a sadness. What was it? It's a brick. It's a brick. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build a couple of them. Oh, boy, our builder's got a lot of work to do over here. Is that the right? Is that? I want to be certain here. I don't want to look foolish. All right, I guess the dog could help. And we don't need the iron right away, so help out there. Beautiful. All right, guys. Well, things are going pretty well here in our new world. I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far. Like I said, stick around because we are going to encounter all the bosses. We're going to go to the island. We're going to do as much as we can. I've even toyed with the idea of going to the land of greed and seeing if we can get that baby dragon. I don't know. We'll see, guys. So hit me up down in the comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see, what your goals are for uh, your own playthrough and things of that nature. And I appreciate it if you hit that like button, guys. And I will see you on the next one. Hey everybody, I just wanted to give a very special shout out to my Patreon members. They are fantastic people. Interstick, Mr. PZ Jones, Lady Viz, and Spuds. Thank you guys so much. Couldn't have done it without you. And I also want to show off this uh, fan art by Vita. It's a cuttlefish scientist. Thank you, Vita.